Okay, so here we will uh, introduce a circuit element called inductors. Okay, so just as what I mentioned, there are three uh, fundamental linear circuit elements uh, known as uh, capacitor, resistor, and inductor. So this is the third one. Uh, yeah. So um, so here it says an inductor is the, is a device that can be used to produce a known uh, magnetic field in a specific region. Okay. And if a uh, current I is established through each of the n uh, windings uh, of an inductor, a magnetic flux phi b links those windings. The inductance L of the inductor is actually so you can consider it, this is a uh, this is um, this is the definition of an inductor. Okay, so of course we we also have a somehow like the definition for the resistor uh, known as the Ohm's law okay of course it is a law but yeah, somehow like the somehow like the definition of a resistor uh, R equals V over I and for the capacitor uh, Q equals uh, CB or uh, or somehow like C equals Q over V so this is the definition of a capacitor and here L equals N phi V over I is actually the uh, definition of a of an of an inductor. Okay. So that so this definition is like uh, so this is the winding number of turns uh, of the inductor, and then here is the phi b is the um, generated uh, uh, magnetic flux uh, generated magnetic flux, and then it is proportional to the current. Okay. So we just uh, normalize. Uh, this n phi v by the current, and then this l is uh, only related to the to the uh, geometric shape, uh, oh, related to the geometric shape of the inductor, but not the but not the current. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so here the SI unit of uh, inductance is Henry uh, Henry. So where one Henry is uh, one Tesla meter per A, okay, so H, okay, so we have a resistor, capacitor, inductor, okay, so the SI unit for R is uh, ohm, the SI unit for C is uh, farad, and then for SI unit for L is uh, Henry, okay, so this three SI unit for the three uh, fundamental uh, circuit elements. Okay, so here it says the crude uh, inductors with which uh, Michael Faraday discovered the law of induction in those days uh, uh, amenities uh, such as uh, insulated wire were not commercially available. This is a commercially available. Uh, Faraday insulated his uh, wires by wrapping them with uh, strips cut from one of his wife's uh, petticoats. Okay, so he had how that he was in that one hundred years ago. That if you now you cut your wife's petticoat, you will be hurt. Yeah. Okay. 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 它就會自己短路,所以它一定要是那個絕緣先圈成繞。OK,所以OK,so <咳> okay, next um, uh, consider a long uh, solenoid of a cross section area A, the flux linkage. Uh, there is a N phi B, uh, N phi B. Okay, so this is the numerator of the of the of the, of, the, of the L. L. Okay, so n phi b is uh, this n. N is the number of turn per unit length. Just as what I mentioned, you need to distinguish the small n and big n. The big n is the number of turn, and the small n is the number of turn per unit length. Okay, and uh, so this is uh, small n times small l. Small n times small l is uh, actually the the capital N. And then phi b is uh, b times a. We just assume that b field is uh, uniform. So uh, so these uh, surface integrals 
turns out to be a product a b times a b times a okay so and then yeah in uh, chapter 29 we all already know that uh, this uh, b field generated by a solenoid is uh, mu naught times i times small n okay so this is uh, what we have in chapter 29 so we can just uh, put this one into here uh, into here and also we put this one into the definition of the inductance okay so l equals n phi b i and then this phi b equals n l b a n l uh, I mean, uh, this n phi b is uh, n l b a okay and also we try to plug in this b with this expression to here so we have uh, n l times mu naught i n times capital a over i so we can actually cancel this i and this i and we also try to move this L to the to the left side. Uh, move this L to the left, left side. So this is actually the inductance per unit length. Inductance per unit length equals mu naught. Uh, put in here, and then we have a n square, n square, and then we have a a. Okay, so this is the expression for the inductance per unit length. Inductance per unit length. Okay, so the inductance per unit length means the inductance is actually proportional to the length, uh, proportional to the length, and this is a constant. And uh, so the other two factors related to the inductance is this one is the um, is the uh, uh, square. This is the square of the uh, number of terms per unit length. Okay, so whether the whether it is compact or not uh, will be very important to the inductance. And this is the cross section area. Okay, so make it bigger. Uh, you, you also have a larger inductance. Okay, so here we talk about the uh, self induction. Self induction. Uh, Chinese in Chinese, uh, 我们叫它自感应. 自感应. Okay, so he, it says if two coils, uh, which uh, we can now call inductors, okay, 就是两个线圈或者我们可以把它叫做电感, are near each other, a current I in one coil produce a magnetic plus 5B through the second coil. Okay, okay, so here we have seen that if we change this plus by changing the current and induce ZMF appears in the second coil according to the Faraday law and induce ZMF appears in the first coil as well. This process is called self induction and the EMF that appears is called self induced ZMF. So it obeys the Faraday's law of induction. Okay, so it's a very long paragraph. But here it means that this self induction is actually occurs inside a single inductor inside a single inductor so let's see what is the the setup here here we have a we have a battery we have a battery and then we have a tunable resistor here this is a tunable resistor yeah somehow similar to the to the to the one i just introduced for the lab okay but actually here we on, we only have a the on, the middle tip point here we on, we do not connect this end to anything okay so this is just like if you move this pawn to the left side you reduce the resistance to zero and then if you move this tip pawn to the right side and then you will take the full resistance okay so you this is a curved tunable resistance so你中间这个点呢如果移到左边的话它电阻值就没了那如果这个点移到最右手边的话你就取满这个可变电阻值 所以你透过这个滑动这个中间点的话，你就可以改变这个电阻。改变这个电阻的话，就会可以可以改变这个电流的大小。改变这个电流的大小，也就可以改变一个圈所产生这个B field 的大小。啊，所以就产生一个呃可变的B field。OK. So the point here is that OK, I don't repeat in English, so I just uh just tells you what it means. So it actually means that. For example, uh, here, 
suppose we are able to generate a time varying uh, current, uh, time varying current. Let's say if it is uh, increasing. Okay, so actually this current will going through, will going through this whole inductor. But yeah, but actually if we just consider the first loop, okay, for the first loop, as much as it has a, a time varying. Uh, I mean time varying um, current, time varying current. It will generate time varying B field. Okay, so this will generate time varying B field. B field uh, generated by the first loop, and actually this B field will go through the other other coil. Okay, in such a way, as much as this B field is time varying, it will generate B field. Uh, I mean, I mean, it will generate induced EMF. Uh, it will generate induced EMF or induced current. Okay. Suppose this I is increasing, so this B is also pointing downward and increasing. Okay. So in such a way, for the let's I say for the. I didn't understand that. <laughs> okay. So for the second loop, so for the second loop, it will generate B induced. That is uh, pointing pointing upward. B induced should be pointing upward. B induced should be pointing upward. Okay, so using the right hand rule, you use of pointing pointing upward. Okay, so this I induce, this I induce, is uh, actually going the opposite direction. It's actually going like an opposite direction to the to the or. Uh, to the original current, or actually, uh, the induced EMF also taking taking this direction. Okay, which means that uh, it's is somehow like we have a voltage drop, something like this. We have a something like a voltage drop like this. Actually, the e, e induced is in this direction. This times this this side is high, this side is low. Okay, so actually. For this textbook, it's like to use the expression like this. Okay, so of course we can actually derive this out using the original definition. N phi b, N phi b is actually L times i, because originally the definition of L is like uh, N phi b over i. Okay, we just move this i to the to the left side, and then we just uh, swapping. Uh, swap left and right. Okay, so n phi b is uh, l times i. Okay, and then we use the Faraday's law. E l equals negative uh, d phi b oh, or negative n d phi b d t. Okay, or something like this. Okay, so this n phi b is uh, l times i. So we just put l times i here. So finally, this uh, e l is uh, negative l d i d t. Okay, so this is. This is something occurred in the physics textbook. <laughs> Actually, uh, we when we use this result for the circuit theory, we uh, actually I seldom use the EMF. Uh, I almost always use uh, V equals L D I B T rather than rather than E L equals negative L D I B T. Uh, the negative side is uh, some something something like this. Okay, it's something like this. Okay, v v uh, this side. Uh, if the current, if the current is in this direction, okay, we'll consider this side will have a higher potential. This side will have a, li a lower potential. And if you consider the e, uh, if you consider the e, it actually consider the current something like this and have a negative side. Okay, so I, yeah, honestly, I don't like the, I don't like the notation E L here. Uh, I almost always use L V equals L I D uh, L D I D T. Yeah, but anyway, you can just uh, use whatever you like. Uh, just uh, make sure you don't, uh, uh, yeah, you you can determine the correct direction. It's okay. And here is a note and induce EMF E L appears in any coil in which the current is changing. Okay. So this is a very, yeah, 
。那电流改变的话，它就是会产生一个，呃，会产生一个 induced EMF 啊 ，induced EMF。OK。So here it mentioned about the uh, RL circuit. Actually, uh, yeah, I will I will introduce how to solve some uh, a type of uh, differential equation after this chapter. Okay. So before that, we, you may not be able to know or uh, how how the uh, solution will be something like this. Okay. But yeah, after after learning the yeah, how to solve the differential equation or actually the constant coefficient linear uh, uh, differential equation okay yeah so uh, after learning that okay you will be able to derive uh, why this uh, solution like this okay so here it's just uh, believe it is correct and, and then later I will I will come back and then tell you uh, how to derive this out it is actually something like um, uh, first order ODE, first order linear coefficient ODE, which is something like uh, E equals uh, L times I and then plus uh, L di dt, and then by solving this uh, uh, first order constant coefficient ODE, uh, you'll be able to know that why this I would be like this. Okay, even even though you don't uh, you don't know how to solve it, but uh, as much as you know how to calculate derivative, okay, uh, you can try to plug in this one into here and then to verify. Oh, oh, this is actually correct. Okay. Okay. So 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 before talking about how to derive that, we just simply know that oh, this i, okay, this i is like an exponentially, uh, exponentially uh, decay, exponential decay. This exponential term, this exponential term with a uh, with a with a with a negative exponent. Okay, so let's say if t is zero, t is zero, e to the zero, e to the zero is one. Okay, so one minus one will be zero. Okay, so at the very beginning, at the very beginning, e will be e will be a zero. E will be a zero. Uh, e will be a zero, and if t is very very large, okay, t to the negative infinity will be zero. So finally, one minus zero is one. So finally, it becomes e to the uh, e over r, uh, something like this. And actually, the curve will, will be something like this. And this is actually v r. So it is like you multiply this by r, it becomes that one. Uh, it becomes that one. So we have a v r because this i, this i go through this r and also this l. Okay, so this r and l share the same current. Okay, so as much as we know this i going through the inductor, okay, this i we also know is the same value, and then multiplied by r will be the v r. Uh, this is the voltage drop across this r, and if you plug in this expression back to v equals l d i d t, you can also find that this VL or VL equals L D I D T, you'll be able to find that this VL is uh, simply is simply okay you just try to plug in this one into here and then you will eventually find that uh, this is nothing but E times exponential to negative T over tau L. Okay I don't try to yeah do it uh, uh, step by step but Actually, you can verify it easily as much as you know how to calculate the derivative. Okay, so this is something like this, and then which means that at the beginning, t e to the zero will be one. So one times e will be e, and then it will become smaller and smaller until forever. And actually, here we have a so-called a time constant or an inductive time constant, tau l, which is uh, l over r. And later on, if we know how to derive or how to solve this uh, first order linear ODE, then we will be able to know uh, why this is uh, this uh, time constant will be L over R. 
and the time constant for RC circuit will be 1 over RC later on. Yeah, but actually, what this time constant means that uh, actually I think here here is a time constant. Here is the time constant. What the time constant means that if t t equals tau l, t equals tau l, this one becomes e to negative tau l over tau l is negative one. E to negative one. Oh, you know E is a two point seven one eight seven one eight. Okay. Uh seven one eight two a one eight two a okay. And actually one over E will be C O point three six eight something. Okay. C O point three six eight something. So this is this is somewhere around here. Uh, this is somewhere around here. Okay. So this is so called a time constant, okay? Which is somehow like uh, this part is uh, is uh, e to the inverse, uh, e to the inverse. Uh, should be around as zero point three six eight. Okay. Yeah. Of course, this is not the absolute value. Uh, yeah. This is the full full scale is a uh, ten volt. Okay. So this is like. Uh, this is like uh, 10 volt times this one. So this is like 3 times 6, 8 volt, something like that. Okay. So you take a look at the time constant, time constant, you just do it in the one to one yoga. This is you got the Sergeant Chang Su be the shell the one. That is the other Sang Chu, the Jesuit. Now you got Sergeant Chang Su be a Chang the one. That is the other. Yuan Zer Sang. 这个项永远都不会为零啊，永远都不会为零。但是从一个工程的角度 ，engineering 的角度来说，如果这个 t 啊大于，比如说五倍的 time constant 啊，大于五倍的 time constant， 我们就假设它很接近零啊，我们就当做它不存在，因为它可能已经小于，我不确定啊，就是。可能已经小于百分之一还是多少的的那个误差之类的，你自己按按按计算机嘛，就是一的这个呃，就是这个零点六三呃零点三六八的五次方是多少<笑> ？OK， 所以这个是 R L circuit。Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So I think. Okay. So we, I think we can. Hmm. Uh, I think we can finish this one. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, so it says. Uh, the figure shows a circuit that contains a uh, three identical resistor with a resistance R equals nine ohm. Okay. So this one, this one, this one are all nine ohms. Uh, two identical uh, inductors and uh, with inductance L, and an ideal battery with uh, E to be eighteen volt. What is the? Uh, oh, sorry. What is the current? What is the current I through the battery just after the switch is closed? Okay. So before the switch is closed, the before the switch is closed. Okay. There is actually no current. There is naturally no current. So. So I L will be nothing but zero uh, zero plus equals I L uh, sorry I L zero minus equals zero A. Okay. So there is one thing to be careful of. Is uh, uh, the current current of uh, an inductor is uh, continuous. 它是连续的，啊，值得注意的地方就是，电感的电流是连续的，电压不连续的 ，potential difference 是不连续的，电电电容的话，呃，电电感的话，电容的话是相反，呃，电容的话是呃 ，voltage or potential difference 啊 ，of a of a capacitors， capacitors。Is continuous. Is continuous. 就是电电容的电压是是连续，但是电流不连续，电感是相反。Okay, 
so yeah so actually we have a uh, this il il to be to be zero uh, to be zero okay this one also zero okay so uh, so in such a way uh, when when the switch is just close we can only see this uh, single resistor so which means that i will be e over r which is uh, 18 over 9 yeah, 18 over 9 equals 2a 2a如果不明白这个意义的话可以回去理解一下就是这个这个是 Okay, so for the question B, what is the current I through the battery long after the switch has been closed? Uh, has been closed. Okay, so in such a way, the VL will be zero. So you can consider it like this is a this is a short circuit. This is also a short circuit. This is also a short circuit. So in such a way, you can feel that uh, this is actually like three resistor in parallel. So the resistor R E Q is like. R parallel, R parallel, R, which is R over 3, which is uh, 9 over 3, which is 3 ohm, and the I will be nothing but 18 over 3, which is 6A. Okay, so.